Hey guys, welcome to another recap of the X Factor. Homer is such a big fan, he always runs down here when I film X Factor recaps. Alright, so this is 2.0 for the judges' homes. Uh, the remaining 16 acts are going to perform. We're not going to get the results till Tuesday though. Um, Simon's up first at his home in Perry and his flunkies because no Mariah Carey because it's actually still the same day. They just broke it up into two shows. So Jaslyn Little was up first, and she was extremely nervous. And when I say extremely nervous, I mean extremely nervous. She sang I Will Survive. Um, I didn't like the arrangement, but I liked her. I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but I don't think she should be bound by that arrangement. Um, yeah, I know Homer. Rachel Crow was up next, and she sang I Want It That Way. It was good, but I was a little disturbed that somebody so young was singing that song. It was just really weird. Uh, Tia Tolliver was up next. No diggity. I thought it was a good song for her, but um, she still wasn't phenomenal. I mean, I, I see what Simon sees in her, but I just, it's not my thing. Then Melanie Amaro. Um, will you be there? Wow. Um... She walked up there like a truck driver, though. Like, that was the first time she ever wore a dress and, like, semi-heels. She needs some grooming, but, oh my god, can that girl sing? She was probably the best of her group. She really was something. All right, L.A. Reed and Riri. Yeah, they're chilling on the back porch in the Hamptons. Brennan Hunt was up first for this night. Uh, he's the pretty boy. Please. He's ten years away from turning into Mitt Romney. <laughs> he sang just like a star and one word. Plastic. I didn't really like him. Can you tell? Uh, Tim Cyphers. He's the country singer. He sang Dance With My Father. I believe that is a Luther Vandross song. Um, it was okay. I actually liked him better in boot camp. So I was a little disappointed with his performance because I was expecting a lot, and I didn't get it. Marcus Canty. Um, he's the one who L.A. Reid said was like Bobby Brown. He sang All My Life, and yeah, he flirted like with Riri, just like Bobby Brown would. Um, I don't like the tone of his voice, and I think he really would benefit from some vocal coaching because I don't think he knows where to breathe when he's singing. So it's really very distracting. Uh, Chris Renee, Everyday People. Again, another just okay performance. He was much better in boot camp. And now he's not my favorite. Uh, at Paula's house in L.A. It, was it L.A.? I can't remember. <laughs> Probably. And Pharrell. She's got the awful groups. The groups are just so lacking. The decisions here should be extremely easy. Stereo Hogs was up first. Um, they sang Heard It Through the Grapevine. Oh god, I'm so tired of the corny dance moves from all of the groups. Um, and there was so much going on in their choreography. It was so distracting. The only funny part of this was when Paula beat up Pharrell at the end. She's like, you got it! And she was like punching him. <laughs> You back on the sauce, Paula? Alright, Two Squared was up next. They attempted to sing Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh my god, they are so amateur. But it is a tough song, but they are so amateur. <laughs> oh, that should be a very easy decision. Uh, Illusion Confusion. They sang Let's Dance. Again, corny and contrived. I just... I. I didn't enjoy it at all. And then Intensity, that made-up group of ten uh, kids. You Make My Dreams Come True. Oh my god, it was so... It was kids bop, 100%. <laughs> and then Hugs, really? Are you like 12 years old? Oh wait, they are. Alright, so yeah, so I guess that was par for the course, but... Kids bop, really? All right, and then the last judge, Nicole, and Enrique, her guest. Jo this is the uh, group that's going to be the hardest to decide because they are all really good. Most of them. <laughs> They're all pretty good. 
Uh, Josh Kragic was up first, the burrito guy. He sang the first time ever I saw your face. This was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. Extremely memorable. He touched me. I, and he didn't have permission. <laughs> but he definitely touched me. Uh, Leroy Bell. Again, amazing. Make you feel my love. The guy is 60 years old. He looks like he's about late 30s. He was fantastic. I mean, I really felt it. Tiger Bud Bill. Mm. He sang Don't Give Up On Me. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm ready to give up on him. Um, it was good. The vocals were good, but I'm just not feeling him. He's not connecting with me when he's singing. And Krista Collins, no surprises. She was the child star, um, the model for Britney and Christina Aguilera and such. She quit at age 16, though, because I guess she said it was too intense and she couldn't handle it. It was okay vocal-wise, but like the beginning of the song, I did not really feel a connection with her, and then kind of I did towards the end, but it's, there's just something strange about the whole situation. I don't know. It's just really weird. I didn't feel the connection. I'm sorry, Krista. Uh, the judges deliberated at the end of the show. They were all like, oh, this one's definitely out. This one's in. This. What do you think about these two? And they like try and almost show you who they're talking about, but they're not really. So it's going to be cut in half. And that's going to happen on Tuesday because of baseball. Baseball's on Wednesday. Wednesday's the regular day for X Factor, but there's baseball, so it's going to be Tuesday. I, I doubt it's going to be Tuesday and Thursday, though, because there's probably still going to be baseball. <laughs> so who knows when the next X Factor after Tuesday will happen, but I guess uh, we'll let you know more on Tuesday. So until Tuesday, did I happen to mention the next show is Tuesday <laughs> at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time? Much love.